Uh, before we start the lecture, I want to show you something. Let us see how confident are you in a moment. So can I draw here? Okay, I've got a beam and it's fixed on one side. And I will apply a force here. And this distance is D. So what's the, what's, what's the bending moment? What's the bending moment? F into D. F into D. You've done this in school. Okay. So, okay. Now, uh, let me show you a real life scenario where engineers struggled. Uh, how should I? Okay, it's, it's, it's the same thing. Okay, hold on. Uh, same thing. This is now a round bar. Okay. Uh, now, hold on. This is my test piece. Because I'm going to show you the real test piece, industrial test piece. Okay. This is a test piece and it is. Yeah, so if I look at from this side, it is round, okay? And the back part is fixed to the wall. And there, and uh, uh, it has got holes in it. Okay, so there are through and through holes. Okay, so, that's a test piece connected to the wall. And if I look it from the front, if I look it from the front, it is something like this. I want to apply bending moment to this test piece. So the obvious thing is I will attach a bar. There's a bar being attached, it's bolted here. And now I apply a force F here. Can you visualize it? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So a test piece, which is this one here, a test piece, which is this one here, one end is connected to the wall, so it's face rigid. If I look at it from the front, it is round. I want to apply bending moment to it. Sorry, bending moment. So I fix a rod and apply a force F here. Okay, now the force is, let me give a value. The force is 20 Newton and D is one meter. So how much bending moment I'm applying on this round object? Come on. 20 Newton meter. So it's 20 Newton meter. Okay, so it's, it's simple. It's, it's, it's the thing that you've done in school. So my question to you, as an engineer is that, am I applying pure bending moment on this round object? Yes, sir. So D is up till here, it's from the center line. That's my D. So, what what's the what are the forces being applied on this round object? Come on, answer. Uh, the twenty newton force and the weight. So, so what force is that? Is that the bending moment? Uh, the weight can contribute to the bending moment because the weight would be in the downward direction. You're, you're, 
And you're, you're talking about the you're you're talking about the weight of the bar. Yeah, the weight of the bar. Yeah, ignore that. Ignore the weight of the bar. My question okay. is, on this test piece, am I applying pure bending moment? Um, I think so because the force is applied uh, normal. Okay, normally that's bar. fine. So that's there's only that. one component of the force that is active over here. Okay, good. Anyone else? So I can't hear you. So the weight of the component itself. The so forget, forget the weight. Forget the weight. Ignore the weight. So if I agree with you, then can you please? Sorry. Uh, if I agree with you, then come on, work, work. Okay, uh, can I, come on, work. When this happens. Okay, uh, so let me make it again here. Same thing with holes and now I am doing this, watch. Now the distance from the center to here is one meter and the distance from here to here is one meter. And the force being applied here is 10 Newton and the force being applied here is 10 Newton. My question is, is there any difference between the two? Scenario A and scenario B. Is there any difference between the two? Um, yes, because in the first one, there's only also. one force acting and in the second one, it's a couple system, but the overall moment would be the same. So but the effect, the that my question is, the effect on this round object is is no. it going to experience no. the same force? <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It works. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you're telling me in scenario A the moment is twenty newton meter. Am I right? And yep. in in scenario B you are telling me is twenty newton meter. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. So if I'm yes, an engineer sir. and I want to apply bending moment on this object and it has to be cost effective, which one I will go for, A or B? B. I think B because in B you have to apply smaller forces. Mm, then I, I need two, uh, two uh, force application systems. But that's not the point. Okay, so I'll tell you, you all are wrong. Okay, there's a big difference between A and B. This, sorry, oh, I should not have removed this. This scenario A was applied by a, 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 a relatively big industry when they were testing this component. And majority didn't know the difference between the two. And they were breaking their components. Now I will tell you what is the difference. Okay, now, what is the sum of all the forces acting in the vertical direction in, in uh, scenario A? 20 newtons downwards. Downwards, okay. What is the total force acting on scenario B vertically? No overall force. No yes. force. So is there a difference? Yes, sir. There is a big difference. In scenario B, we are only and only applying a turning moment. Whereas 
In scenario B, we are applying a turning moment, but we are also trying to bend this part also because we've got a downward force. We are trying to bend the shaft, uh, this shaft, this part of the shaft. We are trying to bend it downward. We are trying to do this. Look, we are trying to do this. Can you imagine? Yes, sir. Is, is, is that clear to everyone? Yes, sir. So in scenario A, the sum of all the forces is 20 Newton downward. And if you look at scenario B, we do sum of all the forces. In X, Y, it is zero. So is it, is it clear to everyone or you want me to explain it again? Because this is the basics of engineering and majority of engineers uh, graduated from, uh, so from very good institutes, won't take the names. Uh, they could even, could not figure out this issue. Is this clear to everyone? So I move forward. We want me to explain again. So can you explain the first one, uh, A figure? Okay. Look, this one, if you look at scenario A, we've got the, your, your test piece. This is your test piece here. Look, remember, engineering is not all about getting numbers in, in, in your subject. Engineer is that you need to design things, okay? And we, with all due respect, we are very poor engineers. This is my test piece, okay? I want to apply pure bending moment on it. So I had two ways to do it. Wave, I had scenario A, where I apply a bar of one meter and apply a force of 20 Newton. Or I can do scenario B, where I have an, a bar of two meter and apply 10 Newton meter in clockwise direction. Now both give me the same moment, 20 Newton meter. But if I do sum of all the forces in vertical direction, then in scenario B, the force is zero. So in simple words, force zero means that if I look at this shaft, then the force applied on here, there's no vertical force being applied on this part of the shaft. But, and the only experience this shaft sees is the, is the turning moment, the twist. Wherein, as in, in scenario A, this part will see the bending because it's been forced downwards. So in exaggerated form, your shaft will kind of bend. So scenario A applies pure bending. Scenario, so scenario B applies pure uh, bending. Uh, whereas, whereas scenario A applies bending as well as downward force, which basically tries to bend the shaft instead of rotating the shaft. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.